Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mr. Rice here, and I'm bringing you Fallout 3 Let's Play. Game of the Year Edition on the PC. I don't this game sucks. Um, on the PC at least, because I cannot get it to fucking work, so I'm still trying to figure it and let's just see how this goes, and I might edit around it and things of that nature, but I really need to get this going. Um, I've never played Fallout before, actually, so this is kind of like my first ever playthrough Let's Play. I'm gonna skip to this part because no one likes a little none of that. We'll get into the actual good stuff. Stuff that matters. Um Yeah. That's kind of that. Let's see. Those three lights in the background kinda of look like dusty symbol a little bit, but not really. I'm a boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Guy sounds Look like Liam Neeson. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... I'm gonna call myself Rice. Name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. All right, guys, um, I'm going to do this, and then I'll be right back to you in just a few seconds. Okay, All right, and we're back. Like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J you're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine? She's in Something's cardiac arrest. Start compression. Things. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You want to oh, that's need sad. a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations now, and there will be a talk. Don't look straight James into the light now. James and his cheerly chatter. May your future be bright towards his team. Place to to do. Just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Okay, so it just saved. Make sure it saves. Yes. Baba. There you go. Baba. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. All right. Well, fuck what you say, Dad. Open the playpen. Okay, completed. Exit the playpen. Done that. It's pretty cool. Look at those. Dildos. Look at your special book. The fuck do I find that? Okay, so you can actually do it. Oh, there it is. Means I am strong, I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. Oh, this is the... Okay, so my friends told me to do zero intelligence. Oh, I guess you can only do one. I kind of want to be lucky. I guess you never really need to smell that great or smell good. Never. Endurance. Let's do some charisma. There. Alright. 
now guide. You probably can hear my keyboard and stuff, but I don't really care too much. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? That was me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life. Oh, wow. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. My little friend. Yeah, that means I'm tall or some shit. Boy. Just let a one-year-old just walk his way around. Oh god, the light they need. I see the spirit. Nine years later, I'm ten years old. Okay, I thought just quick save. He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother. Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Nah, Brad, it's birthday. You got to turn up. When you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. Okay. So here you are. <laughs> As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. <gasps> Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. We're only ten once, so have fun. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. <sighs> but I told him not to worry. You're so... You're welcome. But really, your dad did mo Hey, I bet you can't... I really have no ha. idea. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Well, okay, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just cut a cake with a saw. How do you like that, Pip Boy, son? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is. Don't met. Oh, yes, I almost. Under apparel. Oh, no. oh, yeah. My mic is real, or my keyboard's really loud. I'm noticing. Jonas? I kind of just woke up, so. <laughs> Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind. All right. Are you having a nice glad to be here? I'd say this one. Like to keep in touch with the young people, you know. As part I'd skip job. through some of these parts, some of the boring ones, and yeah. Happy birthday, dearie. My God. They sure did. My. And now look at you. A great big grown-up. Since this was such a special occasion. Of course. Run along. Sure thing. Not to be humble. What? Not she, yeah. Something to read? What is this? Oh, it's a scrap part. Well, okay. nice but yeah, like I was saying, I might skip through some of these parts just because. Uh, I'm supposed to be going to the reactor. Okay. Did you know, due to the threats of radiation and mutant domination, the United States What are you doing down here, young man? <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will... All 
Are you ready for your surprise? Gah, oh boy. The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, your own BB gun. Oh. Jonas found it. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced the <laughs> <spring>. <laughs> So, Sorry. what do you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah. Easy now. It's only a BB gun. Oh boy. It's so weird. Careful, it's a rat roach. If you can take care of that with your BB gun. Fuck you, rat roach. Damn, motherfucker. Oh, it's dead. Good work. That's one less. Let's get a picture together. Capture them. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Gee. Oh. Girls, different parts. Right? Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter. So what? So now I'm 16. Revelation 21:6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got... Hey, it's not my call. You're 16 now. So this year, you take the... Come on, it's not so bad. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault, Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. Okay. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the open. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Keep her out of this. Okay, bye dad. Take care, son. I got out of here. And good luck. Alright. Fucking... Future imperfect. The fuck is the door? <laughs> good morning. Stopped in to see the old man. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. I can show you a real... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something... I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. <laughs> we'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. <laughs> I'm gonna be that guy. Fuck the front row. Back row, baby. Back off. Let's not keep the overseer waiting. You have a snake on your back because you're fucking slippery. Room, finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question 
too. While working as an intern at the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. These are hard questions. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Am I that guy? Yes. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. In order to get him out, how do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number 1. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? <laughs> Slip some knockout drops into the resident's nuca cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. <laughs> Let's. Stay humble. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... God, these are all fucking bad. <laughs> Do this one. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. <laughs> Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Damn. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Back off. Fuck you, bro. All finished? Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. It's nice to know I can still be surprised. Pedicurist. I might have guessed manicurist. Or even masseuse. Closer to Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. Just between you and me. If you don't like the results, I could make your goat come out in.
looks good to me. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Bye. I've got other things to do. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. Uh, why are you talking to me? Damn. We're not friends. Okay, We're okay. never going to be Stop friends. Stop bothering me. Got I, it? I just got to figure out this last one. <laughs> the overseer. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, Even an egg. That is the promise. Three years later. Selfish and insolent. Wake up. Come on, you wake up. Know these things. I'm not going to be around to hold you. Oh, fuck. Come on. You've got to. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone, and my father. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone. I... Look, that doesn't matter right now. You need to. Oh, so you don't trust me now? I understand. It, it must... Listen, it may not... Oh, I'm sorry. But it doesn't matter. I can help... Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to ha use these to get into his office. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pig. Okay, I'll try to... I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. Okay, um... Probably gonna end episode one off right here. Um, if you're enjoying everything that's been kind of going on, make sure to leave a like on the video, a comment, or subscribe if you really, 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 really like what you've been seeing. And I'll come back with you guys with episode two in a few days, minutes. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.